Because you will talk to an and I'm play in your face, in your face, over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so sad that it's like you. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been feeling yourself because of your album and shit. You've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many years that I'm up yet. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the internet because whenever I tell you something, you don't take it seriously. And I'm so tired of it. I'm tired of this. Press, 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 press. Cardi don't need more press. But guess what? She's got it. And y'all might want to get comfortable for this brew because this might be one of the craziest and messiest things that we've heard about Miss Cardi B and Offset in their marriage. Offset just got exposed for cheating on Cardi again. Well, kind of cheated because uh, they might be broken up. But this time it's out of hand because he got somebody else pregnant and was exposed for paying her to get a termination. And of course, of course, Cardi is furious over this and she has been threatening to jump the new side piece just like she jumped Offset's last side piece, Jade. But this time she is also keeping some heat for Offset too because she exposed Offset for doing some DL shenanigans with none other than Quavo. Y'all better take a seat, get your popcorn, get your tea because this is about to be crazy. Uh, my wife back, Cardi, you know what I'm saying? We're going through a lot of things right now, a lot of things in the media. I want to apologize to you, Carly. You know, I embarrassed you. I made you look crazy. Doing things I ain't had no business. I was partaking in activity that I shouldn't have been taking in. And I apologize, you know what I'm saying? Breaking your heart. Breaking our promise. Listen, let me tell you something about Mr. Offset. He's got a knack for getting Cardi B in all sorts of drama with his wild antics and cheating ways. I mean, cheating is bad enough, but getting both your wife and your side piece pregnant at the same time? Now that's just next level messed up. But hey, should we really be shocked? This isn't the first rodeo. Back in 2015, he welcomed two kids from two different women within weeks of each other, meaning he knocked them up around the same time. The same time, Greg! And here we are again with another round of baby mama drama. Now rumors have been swirling that Cardi is expecting, but she hasn't spilled the tea officially yet. Though knowing Cardi, she loves to play coy about her pregnancies until she drops a big announcement when we're all least expecting it, i.e. her time announcing her pregnancy at s &M. Now. now she hasn't announced it but it's giving clarity that she's got a bun in the oven right now and it's just a matter of time before she has to take it to Instagram official. I mean just look at this video. about Cardi being pregnant again and it's all thanks to Offset's antics. He cheated on her during both of her previous pregnancies and there were even rumors of him straying last year. So naturally fans weren't thrilled about Cardi potentially expecting again, especially if it's Offset's with his track record. But some even speculated that he did it on purpose to keep her from leaving. And guess what? Those theories are gaining a lot of traction because Offset has again been caught red-handed cheating. But this time it's next level messy. He allegedly got his side chick pregnant. So now not only is Cardi B possibly pregnant with another baby by him, but allegedly his side piece's baby is gonna be the same age as Cardi's up and coming one. Twins that ain't twins. Well, talk about a cringeworthy situation for real. So we got to unpack this drama. It all revolves around three key players. Cree, the side chick who allegedly got knocked up by Offset and has been stirring the pot. Blue, who blew the lid off this whole mess and exposed Pre and Offset. And then there's Kayla, another player in this chaotic love rectangle, who also happens to be the sister of rapper Vaughn. So these three women used to be tight, but just a few days ago, things went totally haywire. 
Kayla and Pre teamed up against Blue, and things got downright messy too. When they leaked Blue's address doxing her, that move seriously ticked off Blue, and she decided to go nuclear by exposing Pre for everyone to see, exposing her affair with Offset. Whew, y'all. Blue said, to post my address was a low blow, but I got a lower blow for you, because this is all over Cardi husband. She also said, this is all because a married man getting pre-pregnant and making her get a termination for chump change and her telling everybody and then assuming it was me telling everyone but really it was the B who got the termination who was telling everyone I don't care about nothing no more cause you running around telling my address but really can't keep their personal business about a married man to their self so then she shared a screenshot of a message from Pre who said blocked while you type in you got bigger fish to fry didn't you violate an NDA or something but Blue was not having this and she hit back saying you thought you could jug at me because an NDA Pre, you're weird. You thought I ever gave a F? Y'all be trolling me since March, and he's messy. He went back and told you that I'm on an NDA, and you texted me my first and last name. Nobody knew I was on one but Buddy, me, and Morgs. Now, Offset is seriously in the thick of it, and it looks like he's a little sassy and messy with this. According to Blue, he supposedly shelled out $15,000 to Pre to handle a termination. Then allegedly he tossed another $15,000 at Blue to keep her from spilling the tea about the whole ordeal. But wait, there's definitely more. Allegedly he roped in their best friend Kayla to stir up even more drama, paying her to jump Blue because he was paranoid that she was going to expose him. And then Blue posted receipts and wrote, Buddy offered me 15K to not tell nothing. I kept it solid. This was March 6th, the same day and night that Kayla walked up to me randomly trying to jump me. She also shared screenshots of text between her and Offset where Offset appeared to her for telling Cardi about him paying Pre to get a termination. Offset said, B, you gon' learn. None get past me. You a liar. You the one behind all this BS. You keep telling her lies about me. Blue wrote, Buddy texted me this as I'm walking out of Cabo. Like you sent this B Kayla to fight me? Thinking I told Cardi after you done wired me? Or Morgs? Cause I ain't told a soul. According to Blue, Pre continued to try to bully her. She shared a screenshot of a conversation between her and Offset, where she said, Hey, I'm sick of Pre trying to fake bully me. All she do is tell y'all business. She then wrote, Control your 304. She's still on that monkey-ish. Effing with me. I've been cool, but y'all ain't for real. Just keep playing with me. My address has been posted and I have a seventh month old son. Are you insane, sir? She also doubled down on her claims about how Offset tried to get her jumped by Kayla, saying, Kayla walked up to me at the bar at Cabo and said, what you post to said about my best friend Pre and Off. And I walked her down before she could finish her sentence. Overly did it. I had to hit first because I'm like, is this a hit? Like did Buddy and Pre send Kayla because they think I'm telling Cardi everything? At this point, people started telling her she was doing too much. She defended herself by insisting that Kayla and Pre started it by sneak dissing her for months. She said, y'all should have left me alone. Y'all still carrying on. Why is Pre and Kayla making tweets about me. We been handled the business, so why start this all back up? Y'all ain't no bullies at all. I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. Y'all, Blue is visibly mad and she's not playing around. She's all about standing on big business and not taking no nonsense from nobody. But hold up, there's another twist here. According to blogger Got the Scoop, Offset has been sweating bullets over Cardi B finding out about his baby mama drama. Now get this. On the very same day, he allegedly slid into Blue's DMs asking for her number to make sure that she didn't tell Cardi, he also hit up Got The Scoop with some threats. Offset's out here living on the edge. He wrote, Yo, my ninja, why you lying to my wife about me? Ninja, I don't care what beef you got with somebody. You got my wife thinking I had a be prego. What the F wrong with you? Say something, ninja. She replied, first off, don't come in my inbox on some rah-rah-ish. I don't even know what the F you talking about. <laughs> no one said ish to your wife, and I wasn't the person who said you got pre prego. So what the F you talking? <laughs> know your facts before talking. I reposted what the F someone said 
said to Pre because she be out here running her mouth and betraying people and then they go taken. So what the F are you talking about? Yo, what is Offset on? Does he think that he could just buy the silence from the world? Acting like he was a victim while he's out here spreading lies only for the tea to turn out to be true. But hold on to your week because we haven't even hit the craziest part yet. Remember when Cardi went off on Offset back in December? She went straight up wild and crazy live on Instagram, calling it out for being shady. And you heard the heartbreak in her voice. Cause you will talk to a an and I'm playing in your face, in your face over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch, watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so sad that it's like to, and I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been spilling yourself because of your album and, and I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been filling yourself because of your album and you really been doing me dirty after so many years that I'm up yet. Not even a thank you that I got for your and it's so crazy that I gotta go to the internet because whenever I tell you something, you don't take it seriously. And I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of it. Y'all, the plot is thickening. Apparently, Cardi found out way back then that Offset had gotten pre-pregnant, which explains why she was so heartbroken. Allegedly, Offset convinced her to stick around by promising he'd handle it, even paying Pre to terminate the pregnancy. But now the streets are talking and they're saying Pre didn't go through with it. And that means she's still carrying Offset's baby and it's too late for a safe termination. Now, Cardi is furious all over again. And allegedly, she has been threatened to get pre-jumped to teach her a lesson. Not while she pregnant. Well, this really shouldn't be all that surprising because she has done so before. When she paid men to up Jade and her sister when she found out that Jade had been messing around with Offset. She almost landed herself in prison over this. And you'd think that she would know better than trying to pull it off again. But it looks like she is too furious and hurt to think straight. But wait, because this time Cardi B isn't just focusing on the side piece because she is also taking shots at her ex-husband, Offset, exposing him for allegedly engaging in threesomes with his fellow Migo Quavo. Yo, what in the Bronx Harlem telenovela is going on here? Now before y'all start screaming incest, last year Offset clarified that Quavo and Takeoff are not related to him by blood. According to the interviewer, he was classmates with Quavo, the third member of the Migos, and began hanging out with him in Takeoff when Offset was in the sixth grade. While Quavo was Takeoff's uncle, the two were just three years apart in age, and although Offset is often referred to as Quavo's cousin, they are actually not biologically related. Well, Cardi now claims that Offset and Quavo allegedly used to get into some freaky dicky and have threesomes with women. She even leaked his video of Pre and Quavo getting nasty to back up their claims. Unfortunately, fans don't exactly feel bad for Cardi this time around, but they believe in comments saying, Cardi just needs to be in an open relationship if she gonna stay every time Offset cheats. Cause it's beyond embarrassing at this point. I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling sorry for Cardi this time. Whenever her fans point this ish out about Offset, she quickly jumps on defense mode, looking dumb and knocked up pregnant again. It's not healthy at this point and it's not fair on the kids. And I'm embarrassed. The fact that Cardi went live and dragged Bia for spreading cheating allegations on Offset and Offset out here cheating again and impregnating women, CB2 delayed again. Not her being a married side chick. Well, this situation is absolutely messy as F and I hope Cardi don't get herself in trouble with the law again. Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video.